Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we'd like to show you how to make a to-do list with Notion. To-do lists are a great way to keep track of your tasks and Notion is a great tool for this. So let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is to open an empty Notion page and let's go ahead and title it To-do list Notion template. And we're going to add an icon. And for this, let's go with a check mark and maybe the gray color. And let's add a cover photo. And we like to go to Unsplash for a huge library of stock images for quick cover photos. So let's go with some kind of sky image. And this one. And let's reposition it. Save position. And now let's go to the three dots on the top right corner to do small text full width. And this allows us to have more space on the page. So let's start by thinking about the whole plan of the to-do list. So for this to-do list, let's have two columns. So let's type slash column. And on one side, we're going to have a quick to-do list. And on the other side, we're going to have a bigger task database. So let's put task database on this side and quick to do on the left side. And this is going to allow us to add really quick to do lists on the left side, like things you don't want to forget or things you need to do immediately. And then in the right side, you can add lengthier tasks that you need to keep track of. So this way you could also jot down your to do's really quick on the left and then later change them into the or move them into the task database as you need. So there's multiple uses for this. So let's go ahead and move the column a little bit this way to the left. And we are going to change this into heading three. And we're going to change this one into heading three as well. And for Notion pages, we really like to do a divider underneath the heading to make it look cleaner. So we can do slash divider for that and slash divider for this as well. And now let's make the quick to do first. So if you type slash to do or slash checkbox, you'll get the checkbox. So slash to do list to do. And then there's a keyboard shortcut for copying and pasting or duplicating. And that is command control D. So if you type command control D, command control D, you can just make a bunch of these really fast. And alternatively, you can click the six dots on the left side and press duplicate. But as you can see, there is the keyboard shortcut here. So now we have our quick to do on the left side. And so let's start working on the bigger task database. So for that, we are going to do slash and then go to board view and plus new database. So as you can see, board view means that you can move cards into different categories like this. And for a task database or to-do list, we want to be able to move it depending on the status. So if you've ever used any kind of Kanban board system, it's basically like that. So let's go ahead and delete these two cards. And let's name this task database. And we are going to start adding properties to this database because right now there's not really much here except the default. So for that, we can go directly to one of the cards. And these are the properties. So right now we have status and assign. So status is quite necessary because that's how you can keep track of where you are with the task. And assign is not necessary unless you are sharing this with people and need to assign the task. So in our case, we're going to delete this. And we are going to instead start adding other properties. 
So for this task database, we are going to add a date. So you can keep track of it based on date. And we are going to add a, a type using multi-select property. And we're going to name it task type. And let's go ahead and fill in some task types so that it's not empty. So for example, work task be one. Then there is household. Then we could have family and so on. And if you wanted to change the color of these, you can go to these three dots here and select from all of these colors. So let's actually change this one to yellow. And let's just choose one. So let's pretend we have a work task for this. And so we're going to say task one. So you'd put the task name here. So this is the very basic bare bones uh, task database. And then we can now show those properties using these three dots here and then going to properties and let's show the date and the task type. So actually we didn't fill in the date. So let's go ahead and fill in the date here. So we see something. So task one is September 16th and it is a work task type. So obviously you can also customize this later by adding more properties. So Notion gives you so many options. So if you wanted to add notes to your task, if you needed to add a checkbox, files and media, URL, you can basically put anything you want here. But for our purpose, we are just going to keep it like this. So now um, we can go ahead and adjust the layout of this board view. So let's go to the three dots here and then we will go to layout. And let's go ahead and hide the database title because it looks cleaner. And card preview, this means if you want to show something like a cover photo from this task, you can, or what's in the, in the page there. But for us, let's just keep it to none. You can also change the card size and we'll just keep it to medium and so on. So another thing we wanted to show is that you can color the columns which sometimes looks nicer. So we can click here to color columns and that's it. So now let's actually make a new tab here. So you can see this task database in both board view and calendar view. So you can go here and do control click and duplicate. And now you duplicated this board view all the way here and let's rename this calendar view. And then we can change it to calendar view since it's now called calendar view by going to the three dots here and changing the layout to calendar. So now when we do calendar view, we only see the task one again. So we need to show the properties. So for that, we go to the three dots here, properties, and we want to show this time status and task type because date you already see on the calendar. So now we see task one not started and that it's a work task. And with calendar view, another thing to know is that you can actually view this as a week view as well. So right now it's a month, but you can go show calendar as and then week. So here you can see a week view. And if you had many tasks, maybe a week view is better because otherwise your month calendar could look crazy. So it depends on your needs. But let's go back to month view. And uh, another thing to note is that let's say task one is taking longer or you need to move it, you can just drag. So if you drag it, to end on the 17th, you could do that. And then if you go to the board view, you'll notice that the date has been updated. Or if you need to move it to next week, you can just drag it to next week. And that's also totally possible and it shows up in your board view as well. So this is quite useful. 
So if we go back to board view, the other thing that is good to know is that you can organize your to-do list uh, by sorting it by date, for example. So you can see the most recent tasks you need to do and things like that. So for that, let's just add a few more tasks. So we will add task two and let's put a date that's even more in the future. And one more thing is that if you need to add a date which has a start and end date through this board view, you can uh, put end date here. And you can even add the time if you need. So if you put end date, then you can choose from when to when the thing takes. And you can also choose include time. And another thing is you can also add reminders if you need before the, the event. So let's just put October 7th and let's put, it's a household task. Let's put tax, task three and let's put another date. Let's say October 1st and that it's a family task. And now you'll notice that it's kind of just in a random order. So you can go to sort and sort by date. And then you can either choose ascending or you can choose descending, depending on how you want to look at the list. So, and that could be quite useful if you need to see it based on date. And then let's see in the calendar again. And now you see all your tasks are on the calendar already just by adding it to the other view. So this is just the basics of a to-do list or task notion page. There's a lot you can do with it. And we actually have a more in-depth to-do list notion template on our store. So we'll also leave the link to that below. But if you want a completed version of this very basic to-do list notion template that we used in this build with me, we'll also leave that in the link in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or confusions about anything we talked about in this Build With Me tutorial, uh, let us know in the comments below, and we hope to see you in the next one.